After we killed Sergio, it was chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. Boom. Don to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morello and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater's going to be packed, and not just with saps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morello in public in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. You take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. Sure, boss. Got it. True. This is it. We're finally doing this. Mm -hmm. Keep your head. We gotta get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. I ain't driving. She's nance. I'm gonna tell you. We got the word, boys. Morello dies tonight. Tonight. Shit. Good luck, guys. Let's go see if there's another cinematic because I forgot to talk during that one to see to test something. So crap. Let's just go drive there. Put your foot down, Tom. Can't believe after all these years we're this is also going after Morello. Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. Nice plate. <laughs> He's doing all right. Yeah, just sweating bullets. And look how I feel. Nearly there. Let's keep it together. When we see him, go for Morello. No one else. Once he's down, these guys will panic. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, 10 years? I leave you, sir. Okay, arrest the guy. Good luck trying to catch me. Quiet like a mouse. There's no end to these guys! Oh crap. Good luck trying to catch me. So what was I saying? Oh, right. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, 10 years? More. You'd think that white suit would make him an easier target. Big. But apparently not. That's why he wears the white suit just to taunt you. Just to get up in your freaking head. Like, hey, I can wear this suit. There's nothing you can do about it. You got a death wish or something? I call the crap. Okay, buddy. Okay. Very end of the street. I think they, I hope there's a cinematic Let's here. Him. Let him have it. Okay, now that there's a cinematic, we're gonna talk through the cinematic just to see what happens because this is gonna be a very dramatic cinematic. Hopefully, there's gonna be no talking, but it's gonna be a lot of shooting, so it is what it is. That is still a nice car. I really like that car, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and now we're chasing him. Okay. Got it. Shoot for the car, protecting it. Let's get him out of the picture. You got it. Cops on us. Worry about those guys. Last time they get paid off by Morello. Tomorrow they're ours. Okay. Ah, uh, 
one second. I, I somehow hit a wall there trying to switch my gun. And I thought I could switch my gun, but apparently I can't. That sucks. Damn. Just load the last. Yeah, there's a Thompson there. I, I, for some reason, thought I could pull out a Thompson while driving. So I was trying to pay attention to that. But yeah. When I get close, shoot for the cars protecting it. Let's get them out of the picture. You got it. Got cops on us. Bunch of them were staked out around the theater. Last time they get paid off by Morello. Tomorrow, they're ours. Good old fashioned classic gangster car, by the way. I don't know why everybody just stopped there, but okay, get out of the damn way, you freaking fools. We have to get him before he gets to the airport, actually. I would love to just be on a straight road, you know, just for a little bit so I can catch up, shoot him a couple times. That was a nice freaking drift at the end right there. Did you see that? It was crazy. Oh man, how would we have bullet hole, uh, bulletproof windows though? That's the real question. Everyone okay? Oh, never mind. They're not bulletproof apparently. <laughs> this is okay. Shoot that guy. Pew. we go after him on foot. Come on. Let's go. I got it. Got some guys up ahead. Over here. Thanks for giving me two bullets, bro. Get out of there, Behind you!
I really hate Bloom. I'm not gonna I I, I hate Bloom with a passion. A passion. I hate it with a passion. Absolute passion. Ah, crap. Ah, shit. Absolute passion. I fucking hate gun bloom. <laughs> okay, I can understand the weapon sway. The fucking gun bloom is bullshit. I hate it. Gun bloom is ridiculous. It's annoying as hell. Fucking gun bloom. Get out of here. Seen him. Move in the cover. Tommy, Tommy look out. Tommy, look out. Gotcha. Can't pick up that magazine. <laughs> I don't think it was dirty, but I'm pretty sure I can't pick that up. That's the plane right there, I think. Tommy, up front. You're the best shot out of all of us. Shit. Get us into the air! We don't have the speed! You better get the speed. You better get the speed like right now. True. It's gonna take off. I got it. I got it. A little bit. This isn't gonna work. It has to work. He's in. If it don't work. We're dead. Let me shoot. 
now they're both on fire. I'm taking the wheel. Perfect. Why? I'm taking the wheel now. What the hell? The guy that drives. That's true. And now we got a plane to catch. Also true. Okay, here's what's happening. We follow it. We see where it lands. We rush in, all guns blazing, and we finish them off. No okay. way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land. It's gonna crash. It look guy uh, aeronautic to you. But thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Rebel's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we seen him dead. That's Out true. Us, you two should know that by now. Also true, especially you two. Where's he trying to take it? Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside the city. Hello, true. maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. Yeah, we should we should be okay. We should be able to get it, right? Is it gonna go? Yep. Yeah. It's going. <laughs> Gotta get it. Get to it. Thanks, man. Police are on to us. That's fine. Pursuit arrest. Bring him in. Uh, I think I gotta go right here. Be advised. Sounds like we lost. Yep. We don't have time to relax. We gotta be sure he's dead before the cops show. No yep. one's gonna survive that. Who Hell cares? Of smoke. I can't believe we did this. I know. Don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. Yeah, that's true. We don't have long. Every cop in the city is going to be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. Had it. He's either in there and dying. Oh, no, he's right there. There he is. Jesus Christ. Kill him. That's <laughs> up, sir. He doesn't even know it yet. Mm -hmm. He knows it now. Yep. Yeah, pal. That'll do it. Come on. Easy peasy. Let's make tracks. Got some good old beer. I don't know if it's beer. It's alcohol, though. I know that. I don't know. If it's, I don't think it's beer. You don't put beer in a glass. You just drink it right out of the bottle. Oh, there's three bros. Both of them dead. See you on the other side, Marku. Hmm. Creme de la creme. Four twenty. Four twenty one. Um. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in a chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Celieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? 
Look again. <sighs> Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. No, it was, was not Frank. He was the best man. <laughs> Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking Chrysler building. True. 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello created Debbie up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Right, a friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good it was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me? True. Cabby, for Christ's sake. That's a fact right there. That's a goddamn got fact. One thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. Mm -hmm. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day... I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. That's true.